Hi YouTube, my name is Chris again. Hi, now I'm going to show you how to integrate your iPod Touch into a existing stereo you have at home. But using a couple uh, things you have already at home, you could buy at a store. Like, you already have your iPod Touch, so you want to connect it to your stereo at home. Alright, now you have, now you can buy a dock like this one, like I have here, and you need power to power the cable as well, or well, the iPod itself to charge your iPod, and of course you need some audio cables like I have here. Now, how easy to, how easy is it to, uh, do all this. I mean, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is unbox everything here, and I'm just going to show you how all this works. First, I'm going to unbox the iPod Touch itself. Take all the content out of it. Take the iPod out. Sit off the side. And I don't need the content stuff out of there right now. Just going to show you how this works. Put that back though. Oh no! Oh well. Don't worry guys. It all fell down when I opened it the long way. But that's okay. But. And remote. Well. Put the box back inside the box itself. Do that off the side. Of course. Put the audio cables. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The audio cables was already open. I I could unbox it for you guys, but I'm sorry. But I'm gonna unbox my power book as well. But notice the power book is pretty old. I had it for years. Put that there. USB. And of course, the cable that comes with it as well. But what is this? Kind of like an unboxing video of all the stuff I got. Um, no, it's a demo. It's a demonstration to how to hook your iPod, yeah, uh, iPod to your stereo itself. Now, of course, like I said, I could probably play you this one song without having a copyright issue with uh, YouTube and stuff like that, but I'm going to go ahead and plug all this stuff in and show you how this works. First I need my PAL, of course, the PAL is always what you need to power your iPod when you are trying to charge your iPod on your dock system. Second USB cord back here. Now of course you see it's only four foot long. That is the longest cable ever. And take your audio cables and plug these into your stereo. Make sure you have left and right speakers. Fucked up the right way. If you don't, it may not work. Now you take the Power, the power is here and the, and the um, audio is here. I notice I don't have glasses on today because I didn't feel like putting them on. But now you take your dock, your Apple dock, and you plug the audio here and your power here. And this is an integrated system you could buy at a store. Buy the little dock at a store. I'm integrating this uh, stereo with a dock system. Now, of course, you put your dock tray you came with your iPod. Now, of course, we could put the iPod now on the dock. Now it's going to charge the iPod now. Now, of course, 
I can play you a test song, and I'm gonna have to pause it really quick because I don't want to get in trouble with copyright on YouTube. Go ahead and turn the stereo on. And make sure you have a max input like I do on this old stereo here. Now, I had this stereo for a long time, it's old, but now I can make it like now I can make it as new. Like have a new uh a new system. And of course I got an Apple remote as well for the dock. Now I'm gonna play a test song and I'm gonna pause it really quick to test it out. Now of course this was just a test to see if you got your both speakers hooked up the right way. And of course now you're playing your iPod through your stereo system at home, your original stereo. You don't need to buy a high expensive stereo, you don't need to spend $500 on the stereo. But this is a great way to upgrade your older stereo you have at home. Alright guys, this was just a test of the iPod dock to the stereo itself. Alright, peace out. I love you all. Have a good night. Bye.